Are you ready to learn how to chop up your footage to tell your story? Let's go! So how can we cut a video clip? Well, we need to use the razor tool. Find the toolbar panel, usually located on the left side of the screen. Look for the icon that looks like a razor blade to activate it. So here is the razor blade. Click on the razor tool icon. You can also press the C key on your keyboard to quickly activate the razor tool. Once you select the razor tool, you're ready to cut a video. So move the razor tool along the timeline where you want to make a cut. Click on the timeline at the desired point to cut a clip into smaller segments. Cut here and cut here. Once you made cuts in your video, you'll have several smaller clips that you can rearrange or remove. But how do you select these smaller clips to move them around or delete them? Well, simple. Just use the selection tool. Find the selection tool in the toolbar or press the V key on your keyboard to quickly switch to the selection tool. To do that, just click on this icon. This is the selection tool icon. To move segments, click and drag the smaller segments of the clip to rearrange or remove them as needed. Simply click on the clip you want to work with in the timeline, then you can drag it to a new position or press the delete key on your keyboard to remove it. Easy, right? But what if it creates a gap between the video clips? How can we close this gap? If the gap between the video clips occurs, don't worry, it's easily fixable. You can close the gap by dragging the adjacent clip together until they meet, effectively closing the space. Or you can use the ripple edit tool, which automatically closes the gap when you cut clips, ensuring a seamless transition between them. Ripple Trim Edit allows you to quickly trim clips to your playhead position and automatically close the gap, making your editing process even faster. You can trim the beginning of the clip and you can trim the end of the clip too. To trim the start of the clip to quickly activate it, the clip will be trimmed from the beginning up to the playhead position and the gap will automatically close. You can also trim the end and close the gap automatically. To do that, move your playhead to the point where you want the clip to end. Ensure that the track is selected and highlighted in blue. Then press the letter W on your keyboard and the clip will be trimmed from the playhead position to the end and the gap will automatically close. Remember, you'll be using this tool most frequently. The razor tool is perfect for cutting clips into smaller segments. Simply press the letter C to activate it. And if you need to move or rearrange segments, the selection tool is your go-to. Just hit V on the keyboard to use it.